The e World of Champions Super Sport brings you round 24 of the MTN Fans Super League. It is second place Kalampa Nkana Football Club against current log leaders Sensational Zanakon. We're coming to you live from the Nkana State in Quito to be more precise in Wuzakile area. So, it's exciting times in the MTN Fans Super League and uh, maximum temperature in terms of weather forecast it is 29 degrees centigrade although it has been uh, uh, focused that later on in the evening to get a bit cold. Humidity obviously in that uh, situation. My name is Matt Timbankonja. Let's be together as we build up to what promises to be an exciting game. It's number two, hosting number one. And of course, we like to hear from you. It's hashtag, tweet us, hashtag SSBola. And you can do the same, Martin Konje, Matimba. And more than glad to get your comments. Who do you think is going to win this afternoon's game? However, we can confirm yesterday at the Shinda Stadium, Mufriya Wanderers scoreless against Inchanga Rangers. But exciting games that are coming through today. Of course, in Kana versus Zanako, the game that is live on the World of Champions. Napsa Stars host bottom place, Mufriya Blackpool. Lumwana Radiance host Cabo Warriors. It's two Lusaka Derbies, Red Arrows versus Inquazi and Green Buffaloes taking on Lusaka Dynamos. So, First Rangers versus Power Dynamos, Zesco United versus Green Eagles. Those two games tomorrow will be live on the World of Champions, as is the case with this game this afternoon between Inkana and Zanako Football Club. So, after that result yesterday, plus what's obtained last week, in the bottom half, Forest Rangers are now in 10th place. They've got 28 points from 22 games. Blackpool still at the bottom. They've got 9 points from 23 games. Look at my team, Freo Andras. Having drawn yesterday, they've got 26 points with 24 games played thus far. And 26 also from Quasi Football Club, now under the tutelage of our batting pandan, Kenneth Babo Malitori. So, number one versus number two, that's our feature story this afternoon. Separated by eight points. Whether that will continue, wait and see. But in Chang after the draw on 28 points, Power Dynamos in action tomorrow on 43 points, and Buffaloes on 39 points. Exciting times, we do call them, and that's why we called Bola Yapazedi on the World of Champions. Coming to you live from the Nkana Stadium in Kitwe, Wuzakile to be more precise. Now, my expert analyst and co-commentator for this afternoon's production, Mukamba Mwenda Jr., joins me on pitch side to look at what might happen, what might not happen, and at the end of the day, what result might obtain. Simply put, number two hosting number one. Well, it's all systems go. It's about who wants the title the most. If Nkana have any chance of winning the title, they need to beat Zanako here today. If they don't, it's going to be a tall order for them. They'll have to wait for other teams to help them. And it's, the onus is on them. And on Zanako's side, they would like to continue with a very good run away from home. Out of all the games that they've played away from home, they've only lost twice, but they've managed to score 25 goals away from home, more importantly. So today is a very packed game, and this Nkana faithful uh, side will be looking to make the beautiful fans of Usakile really happy. They didn't play so well last week. The likes of Sati Sati didn't come to the party. Hopefully he will come to the party uh, this afternoon. And if you look at this Nkana side, they do have uh, players that can change the game for them. Uh, but by no means will this game be quiet because uh, Zanako have come here for business. All right, and of course, uh, Sate Sate back in the first 11 for Nkana Football Club. We recently had the team the Belgian League, and of course, the likes of Mebin Chishimba, still part of uh, the Kalampa Nkana Football Club setup. What an opportunity to catch up with the Nkana Football Club head coach, Agri Chiangi. Two seasons ago, he used to sit on the Zanako technical bench. How does it feel sitting on the other side? Uh, as usual, it's the two big teams meeting, and uh, it's going to be an interesting game. But the only thing is that uh, we really have to work very hard because we are playing at home. So the pressure is on us to win this game. Talking about pressure, I see from your first 11 you've made uh, four changes in the starting lineup based on the last game. Yeah, it depends on the teams that we're playing. This is a different team. We are not playing in Changa like we did last week. We are playing Zanako. So we have to see the options of playing Zanako and also trying to strengthen the team in a different way. You're a former Zanako coach, and this is the second time you're meeting you know, Zanako in this uh, campaign. Just uh, how does it feel sitting on the other side of the bench? Uh, it's normal for us as coaches because uh, these things happen to us. But again, the only thing is that uh, games like this are very interesting because uh, I don't want to lose against them at home especially. And again, the funny thing is that uh, the players on Zanako's side want to prove a point, you see. So that's why these games are very interesting. So, Coach Agri Chiangi, making four changes, you feel maybe it's a panic button that he's pressed? No, he hasn't pressed a panic button. I think Kana have been consistent. Somebody would argue that they're probably the best team in the last five games. They've not conceded a goal and they come into this game on a high. But every situation has got its own solution, hence the changes that is put in. And this afternoon, he will be looking uh, to the likes of uh, Ngulube to actually come through. I mean, he's one of those midfielders who not only scores goals, but also controls play. And this afternoon, it will be 
important that he puts a strap on the, on, on the, on the game because Zanako have got players that can really control the midfield. Well, up front, it can only be the top scorer in the MTN Fast Super League is Water Warrior. He's uh, got a killer instinct. I like his movement on and off the ball. I mean, when he doesn't have the ball, the way he positions himself and he has that ability to sense the second ball and just pounce and score, there's a reason why he scored 13 goals so far in the league. All right, and of course, Water Warrior did score in the last game that Nkana Football Club played at uh, the Changa Stadium. One knew it was so much said about Nkana Football Club. Let's look at the visit, the visitors. They're also coming on a high, having beaten Green Buffaloes one new. It was a Lusaka derby. It's never easy when it's a derby. Well, it's never easy, but I think the worst thing of uh, that game is the fact that they lost Zio Tembo. And that's where the weak link is. Set Sakala there, disembarking from the bus. He just recently got married. He will be looking to increase on his tally. He's sitting at eight at the moment. The likes of Charles Zulu starting on the flanks. This is Zanako side. And not really bad travelers. They've scored 25 goals out of the 50 they've scored so far away from home. And more importantly, they've only lost twice. They lost uh, away at uh, Forest and, of course, they lost uh, at Power Dynamos just across the road here. So they won't be looking to repeat that as uh, they are hosted by Nkana this afternoon. Numba Mumamba is the head coach for Zanako Football Club, former Zanako player himself. I asked him a question. How does he hope to see his team extend the lead at the top? And this was his reaction. I must say it is going to be a very tough game. Uh, looking at uh, in Canada, the way they are performing, uh, they are performing excellently uh, the past few games. And I think uh, we have uh, performed well as well. I think it is, it is the best team that will carry the day in terms of application on the pitch. We just have to be positive and believe in ourselves. And the, uh, the result will determine at the end of it. I see you've made uh, changes, as many as three. Just take us through those ones. Uh, I think uh, on the changes, uh, Aaron Katebe has uh, gone to South Africa for, for trials. Uh, that is why we've managed to, to put gift in place of him. Then uh, on, the, on the strikers, we've put Seth and the fashion. They've continued as they played last, uh, the last game that they played. I think that is the only change that we've made in the starting lineup for this week. The cool, calm and collected Numba Mumamba. He used to be called Magic during his playing days. At the back, George Chilufia's partner in Gift Sakwa in the absence of Aaron Kateba, we're attending trials at Super Sport United in South Africa. That's probably the weak link in the Zanako side because Zio Tembo is not there and Aaron Kateba is away. So maybe that Zanako side just as an Achilles when it comes to the back line. But uh, this Zanako side has only conceded nine goals and they've not conceded a goal at home. Away from home, they've conceded nine. So this afternoon, well, they need to really pay attention and see how they really come out and uh, give problems to this Nkana site. And that will be probably uh, given to this man here. He's, he's the unsung hero in the middle of the pack, Richard Kasonde. He tends to score the odd goal, but he just has that role of a sweeper. He does a lot of cleanup and he provides a lot of cover to the likes of Salulani Piri and of course Isaac Chancer. But this man right here, super happy, fresh from uh, getting married. Out of four games before the game last week, he scored four goals. So the eight goals that he scored so far is uh, on a sugar high. Expect him to be trigger happy this afternoon. All right. And of course, talking about Richard Kasonde, the player that we talked about earlier on, he's a former, you know, uh, uh, kind of player. football club yeah. player. So now he's meeting his former side. But now, where's the battle going to be won or lost in this afternoon's game? Well, one would argue that it will be won in the middle of the pack. But for me, it's about uh, the execution. You know, it's, it's, it's about how... Uh, how how you know how 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 quick they are towards goal if they're very clinical so to say in front of goal i mean you've got water warrior who can score and there's a problem in that uh, zanako defense and you've got the zanako team that has got goals from everywhere so the teams that make that take their chances have chances and score goals We'll definitely win this game today. I'll tell you one thing, wherever you're watching us on the World of Champions, this is one of the biggest, if not the biggest game right now this weekend uh, in uh, Zambia's MTN fans Super League just got better, Bola Pazede. But now you can always do the same. Hashtag SS Ball, I want to hear from you. Um, times, sometimes when teams number one, number two meet, maybe a bit of consciousness does come through in terms of the two teams. Do you see this as a high scoring game or maybe the two teams would want to sit back? Well, it, 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 most likely we'll see nothing more than three goals in this game. I think it'll be very similar to the Zanako power. This game will be very cagey, but Zanako have got dominance in, when it comes to the midfield. I want to pick him. 
bit of money. Uh, who's going to win it? <laughs> I like this is my favorite part. Well, I'm inclined to stay on the fence, but you know, men and women lie numbers don't. Zanako to win it. All right, I'll tell you one thing. Since 2008, this is the 16th meeting overall. Remember, Nkana were once demoted in 2008, and it is the eighth meeting at this venue. It's in Kana Football Club versus Zanako. We take a short ad break there after our commentary team of Innocent Kalaluka and Muka Mwemba Jr. will take you through what promises to be an exciting game on the World of Champions Super Sport. It's the clash of the titans here at uh, Nkana Stadium as Nkana Football Club uh, up against Zanako who are the log leaders perched very, very well with 55 points and they really look uh, very, very strong here today. But it's maximum temperatures at 29 degrees so it is rather hot here. But believe me, the mercury will be rising here when the game does eventually kick off. Two sides just getting ready there in the tunnel uh, to just uh, come through as uh, getting final instructions from the coaches. And Peter, very, very interesting scenario because of the fact that the sides that are up against each other here today, it's kind of football club, uh, second on the log and uh, Zanako very much on top. Arguably the biggest fan base in the country belongs to Nkana Football Club and they are here to make sure that the side does go ahead and actually win this one here today. The team that scores the goals is definitely Zanako and the team that has been exclusive where defending is concerned is definitely Nkana. So maybe it's a case of an unstoppable force up against an unbendable poor on the clash. What does happen? We'll wait and see what uh, comes out here. And Kana Football Club will always be in the red, as always. And of course, uh, the away strip, Zanako Football Club, white and black. Uh, with a touch of red here and there in and around the collar area. But all red here at uh, Nkana Stadium. And they will be hoping that they will be going away smiling. Both sides missing out on their central defenders, which is uh, an interesting scenario here. Zia Tembo missing out, who's the captain for Zanako after being uh, carded, whereas uh, Christopher Muntali has not met the team here today. Two sides just uh, going through the usual greetings and uh, small little things at times considered before the actual game. But this is how they're lining up here. Scott Gokani is in exemplary form. He has not considered a goal in five games, so expect that he'll be on fire. Of course, nice to see Ronald Sati Sati Kampamba partnering Walter Walia, who is the league top scorer with 13 goals. And the bench also from Kana looks very, very strong indeed. And this is how they're lining up. Ngulube, obviously the attacking man, and Bosanja will be holding. Uh, like we said, up front, that's where the goals should come in. But Jonathan Sonda Sinyango, the partnership has happened before and uh, yeah, hopefully that it will be able to hold as far as the fans are concerned. Zanako, on the other hand, like we said, they will be missing the, the Zia Tempo, who is actually in the stands and in comes Gift Sakwa, who was, was playing for Forest uh, uh, last season. I remember in a game where they played Zesco, uh, he was very, very strong indeed and uh, now he's in the Books of uh, Zanako has not, uh, this is only like his second start. George Chilufia, though, very experienced campaigner, Kasonde will be holding in that midfield. And uh, interesting that uh, the captain is Roderick Cowboy, second time he's captaining this side uh, for Zanako after Zia Tambo has gone out missing. But it's the Sakala's up front, Faith and Safe. 
uh, that uh, will be in fashion rather and say that it will be very, very vital for them to get the goals. Stanley Hachiwa will be ably assisted by Kawe Chansa, uh, Oliver Mwene, and of course, uh, fourth official Evans Malata. So, you know, interesting when you're given to take charge of such games because you know it's always going to be a huge one. This you have to be. Uh, on the run all the time because they will make the ball work for them and uh, in that sense as a referee you have to do all the running. Agri Chiengi, coach in Kana Football Club, he knows if you're going to win the title you have to win this kind of games. It's well and good to beat everybody else but you beat the big boys as well as the small ones in courts you know all is well. Kampamba will want to get off the mark. He has not uh, scored since he rejoined his club and he was very iconic in 2013 and uh, he'll be hoping that he'll start to get goals. Of course he has Walter Walia who's helping him out and uh, doing a very very good job at that. That is the standing captain for today, Roderick Kabu for Zanako and that man Numba Mumba back on the bench he was off uh, last weekend having uh, traveled with the Zambia under 17 who, were, who went and were knocked out but David Chilifa deputized and did a good job there for him uh, beating uh, Buffaloes by a quarter nil. Isaac Chansa Africa Cup uh, winner there a lot of experience in the middle of the pack a lot will be happening around him uh, so it's a cracker of a game that's just uh, might want to buckle up on this one it's definitely going to be a bumpy one this Achiwa though will be the man in charge and just getting ready to kick us off. Fans still coming in and believe me, by the time we're just about halfway through this game, it should be full to the rafters. They know how to support their side in Kana Football Club wherever they are. And we kick off here at Nkana Stadium as uh, number one is up against number two. Big game this as I'm joined by uh, Muka Mwenda and very quickly it's Nkana on the attack. It's actually Zanako and uh, quickly uh, push forward Walter Walia now with Sinyangwe and uh, gets a first good uh, touch there. Very important for uh, uh, Sakuha rather to make those, those those touches early on because they will know that you probably will be the weak link for, for, for uh, Zana coincidence. Yes, he joined them on a permanent deal recently from Forest and he picked up a metatarsal injury while he's in training. So he was put on a different training regime. He recovered and he came off the bench against the Blackpool. He's back playing in the center today. Long one from Danashano, as expected, and uh, he was all alone. Walter well and could not direct uh, that one towards the goal. You can see that everybody was standing and watching. What was that about? Flat footed as the ball comes in from Danashano Malama. Walter Walia has got space, but unfortunately, he just lacks that composure. He needs to redirect the ball towards goal and maybe get the better of Tosta Salata. Zanako should count themselves lucky because that check was not cashed in on time. Well, Faxon was being told by, the, by, his, uh, by, by, by Chilufia and uh, his goalkeeper to say you should have marked your man. So they're very, very lucky. It would have been one of the fastest scores in the league. Had that one gone in, Danashano Malama throws that one, but uh, goes out. So Nkana starting on a higher. Danashano, everything happening on this right side. He throws the ball again high up in the sky. Sate Sate Kampamba. To Walter Wally, opportunity again, he shoots. Look at that tackle by uh, the big man. It will be very difficult to beat him, and they will have to be very, very wary. George Chilifia are doing a good job there. But it's all Nkana here. Uh, bad one, that from Danashano Malam. Stanley Achua will be talking to Danashano Malama and just give him a word of caution. A little bit too late, nothing malicious there. The experience of Isaac Chansa just pushes the ball ahead of him, missed the ball and uh, got the better half of Isaac. Oh, Danashana Malama, rest assured he will go in that way throughout uh, the match. He's the equivalent of a human mortar, always on the run, always on the move. Definitely wears his hat on his shoulder, Danashana, very strong. Now, Kapombo throws that one deep in the 18, but uh, they fail to control there with Fashion Sakala straight to the goalkeeper, Scott Ngokani, who He's definitely on song. He's been very, very steady, not picking the balls from the back of the net, which is vital for a goalkeeper. If you can keep those clean uh, slates, the defense, they always stand a chance of winning. And they have done that. In the last six games, they've drawn one and won five. So that's in kind of for you. They're definitely a, a team in form between the two sides here today. Zanako, though, ever scoring. The only blemish, though, the last five has been the loss to Nkana meant to power dynamos which was quite the game that now said sakala wide now looking for fashion sakala 
two of them always uh, looking to pass to each other and they're very deadly on the but given Sinyangwe is the one standing in for Christopher Montali he too like uh, on the other side where we have uh, uh, gift. gift I guess those will be the weak links that uh, the two sides will be hoping to exploit not that many options when it comes to goal scorers as well from Kana because water on 13 the next man trailing him is on six goals and is a midfielder you can't say the same for Zanako. They've got goals from everywhere. Long throw in that 18 area. And now, chipped inside. Isaac, likes of Isaac Chansani to roll out to this one. Weak shot there from Saint Sakala, who's on eight goals already, so it's pretty lethal. Good chest control, but I think he had stepped out, so you can see he's not complaining, all Tabwalia. We were talking about the inform team uh, being in Ghana. Well, the defense has really helped them a lot. They have managed to not consider goal in the last five. They drew, obviously, only one in the last six, managing to score seven goals. Isaac Chancer now chips it back to the captain, Roderick. And uh, Bor heads into Shimenge and on its way, and it's a corner, first corner to Zanako. And the problem need this because most of this game has been played in the uh, half of uh, Zanako the last uh, four minutes. So good one, this Charles Zulu coming to take. Comes out, killing, and the goalkeeper and Gukane just comes. Rodrik pushes it inside again. Said Sakala almost shoots, just been bubbling in and around the, the defense there for Nkana all over the place. Well, when Seth was looking to shoot that ball there, Fashion was uh, slightly further up. He would have probably opted if he looked up to just pass the ball to Fashion. But there were so many players there when Roger Kawe put it in the center. Very few players covering Fashion Sakala and George Chilufia there. Just needed a little bit of contact. After saying so much about Scott Nekane, I think it was his fault that he should have come out and punched that ball. Can't really tell whether he was trying to hold it. As Kasson declares. Salonani Piri on the other side. He's a utility player, Salonani plays on the in defense, but anyway, on that line. Now, opportunity for Simon to score. He passes it. Chimenga shoots. Just how did he miss there? And though it was, it was going to be offside, but still, surely, Walter Waller should have scored. Tost and Sabat are not happy with his defense so far because on two occasions he's been exposed. Quick passes from Mukana ensuring that uh, they get the better of that flat footed back line. The mistake is made by Salulani, and of course, Gift Sakawa. He has an option there to shoot at goal or pass the ball. Looks like he was looking to do both. Yeah, well, maybe he's caught in two minds there, but he should have just uh, tried to hit the target. It was going off, and Water had no choice but to just throw himself in there. Could not really control it over the back. Good thing it was flagged as offside or else. That would have been such a chance, the second one at that. Well, it's still early days, but you can see Gift Sakwa really getting out of position. He needs to tuck in slightly closer with George Chilufia because his movement uh, leaves much to be desired. Joseph Msonda clears that. His experience will be very, very important here. Otabolia deemed to have been pushing his man, a very strong player, that. So that's the thing about Walter, though. He's always going to move, isn't it? He's never stationary, and that makes it him very difficult to mark. Hence the 13 goals, I guess. His pre-roll has made him a better player. If you look at how he just positions himself. And as a duo, him and Chimenge, when they just came through to Nkana, I think they have been playing well. They just need to have a little bit more of cohesion, him and Satya Satya. I think that combination is not quite working out for me so far. I guess they still need to just get to know each other. Remember, Kampamba just rejoined Ghana recently, this uh, second half of the season. So really, they have not had time to play much together. So I'm sure the coach is, the coach is really pressing on that in training because if they get going, and especially if Kampamba gets going, uh, they, they could be lethal as a strike force. But for now, Again, Walter Ball has flagged offside. Fans not too happy here with the Kawe Chansa, the first uh, assistant from Kalulushi. Well, true to the word, he's a free row, Walter Walia. He was on the right and he does move to the left. He's just peeling off George Chilufia. He's a shed offside. So the call from uh, Kawe Chansa 
certainly on point. You are talking about Kampamba coming back into the fray of um, Kana. Well, somebody who will be leaving, might be leaving, is none other than Aaron Katewe. He's off for trials, so that back line that Zanako have is uh, somewhat different. No yeah. Aaron Katewe, no Zio Tembo. No, Zio Tembo definitely uh, might want to be missed. A captain fantastic of sorts. A couple of man of the match performances that he's put in for his club and also so Aaron, having played in Morocco, now has has trials at Supersport United. So if, if everything goes successfully for you, for, for him. Simon Walia there, again caught in two minds to Walter Walia. Hits up a player and goes out straight to a corner to Nkana. So Simon seeing a lot of the ball, not much of uh, Kampamba, but Kampamba really don't get worried when you don't see him because he normally just, the Kampamba of Oz will just pop in in that 18 and get you the goal so i don't think they're very worried about him right now corner though comes high killing goalkeeper comes out and george Chilifi and company clear that one but uh, joseph musonda now he tries to be a bit clever almost being caught out george again clears as fashion heads it but again they're losing the pause in the middle of the pack and it's a foul to Zanaka fans again, not too impressed. But it was Fashion Sakala who was brought down. Always fights well for 50 50 balls and that hunger to just get the better. Look at that. He gets the ball and there's a little bit of contact. That's a set, that's a set and foul. Well, his argument is that he did get the ball a bit there as well. So he's, uh, he feels that he shouldn't have been called. But it's very frantic this game. will check this he shoots from there though trying to cut uh, to cut scott off but uh, very alert scott Lucani. remember he's definitely on a high he has not allowed to go in five games and keeping a clean sheet that should be uh, should have a good few factor so well if there's ever a challenge i guess it's this one here because oh, look at the one two zen the 18 already safe sakala fashion sakala combination deadly Scott not conceding goals in the last five games, and if, if you talk about him being challenged, it's now because the likes of Lusaka Tigers will not give Nkana the opposition that Zanako will give them. I mean, those egos in the lineup, those uh, black pools. So, you know, it's, I think, I think to be honest, now they have a team that can really make them work. Oh, certainly. And, uh... As, as big as they come in Zanako, because Zanako definitely, like we said, the le log leaders and have scored <laughs> goals for fun, 50 goals. So it tells you one thing, passion there, upside, definitely. Yes, they have played the likes of Saka Dynamos. Uh, but they played the uh, Wukabu Warriors, Blackpool, Eagles, Nkwazi. So yeah, you could say not as strong in comparison. And look at this upside passion can that goes off. He was behind. Joseph Musonda all the while. Well, he should have just held it a little bit. Zanako goals are really coming from everywhere. Fashion is running in nuisance with Seth Sakala, but they tend to have goals coming from the middle. You were talking about 50 goals. They've actually split them in half. It's 25 goals at home, 25 goals away from home. In the last five games, Zanako have scored 14 goals. You could easily want to say it doesn't matter whether they are home or away, but they have lost. The only games they have lost are away, so maybe they are a bit vulnerable. And uh, we kind of want to utilize that now. Charles Zulu chips it inside. And again, Said Sakala beats his man to fashion and up tearing that defense apart. But then they would just uh, recover though with uh, Shimenge to Walter, was drifted wide. He beats his man. Brilliantly done. Kasonde Sanga Valencia on that occasion. But dispossessed, it's a foul. Isaac Chansa fouling his man while getting that one. Isaac just talking about how they should maintain the shape in the middle there. Water while you're getting the better of Faxon Kapumbu and Kasonde. I think the high boot there is what Stanley Achiwa blew for. Isaac Chance was complaining but didn't realize it wasn't him that uh, the call was met. Shoots from there, Jacob. Just goes wide and he can shoot from that distance. Small and stature, but he packs quite the punch where the, uh, the shot is concerned. Well, he scored the most goals. Uh, 
in this Nkana side other than water while your water on 13 and Jacob Nguluwe on six goals so far well, that's an interesting one there because uh, that's a midfielder it comes from the deep and that that, that could be good though because uh, then you, you can't score from outside the box and that that is important in the game because at times you'll be cut out and you cannot go into that 18 area well maybe on the other side it should worry the kind of faithful because the likes of uh, Gilly Manziwa you know, the likes of Simon Wadia have not scored even six goals. On the Zanaco side, well, it's goals galore because you've got nine from Fashion Sakala, eight from Seth Sakala. Definitely. They should be worried because Walter uh, is injured and the goals dry out from Kana. No, better yet, if any <laughs> of uh, the Zanaco players just put Walter Wadia in their pocket for the afternoon, then the goals might dry up. Wow, well, very, very. Very difficult though to put him in the pocket. I'll tell you that he's such a mobile player. Now they do a good job on that side, but there's a bit of a foul on Apanene from Charles Zulu. Charles Zulu wanting to greet Apanene's uh, hand longer than necessary. I think he didn't enjoy the handshake when the game started. He was pulling onto his hand there, trying to remind him that hey, we can be friends. <laughs> <laughs> All over him like a rush. Abandoned now in possession. He's going to chip that one into that 18. A bit too much straight up to the goalkeeper. <coughs> so, just when we thought that maybe when two giants meet, uh, it can become a bit of a dull affair. No, 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 no. I think uh, this is not the case. Maybe it's the case of the elef two elephants meets the grass is what's going to suffer here because that both sides are up for it. Sunday in the middle of the pack wins that one. Isaac Chansa trying to be a bit fancy here. Jacob Guluve. Semenge White now. Dandashano is running alongside Kampamba fails to make it to connect there. But again, wayward pass there from Zanaku. Push. Definitely foul that from uh, Safe. Oh, Safe, a little bit of a zealous. Haven't seen much from uh, Roger Kawe, who's the captain in the absence of Zio Tembo. This is only the second match he's captaining the side. He did captain them when the took on Kawe Warriors. And he did captain them, obviously, when the took on Mwana Radiance. But Roger has had a quiet 15 minutes so far. He has decent runs normally on the flanks. But he's, like, he's a little bit like Sate Sate Kampan, but he can have a quiet afternoon and just one chance. You score from a free kick. Oh set yeah. Play, I was going. Know. I was going to say. So you, you, you need him there because the moment you have that set piece situation, just uh, somewhere close to the goal, he can uh, give you that goal. So Roderick, uh, for now, not really stamping his authority, the captain. But Charles Zulu on the other side has been uh, quite uh, influential, quite busy. Simenge, nicely done that. Gift Sakuawa has been uh, pretty good as well. So far, the partnership with the. Uh, Big George Chilufi has uh, been commendable in the first 16 minutes. With the exception of uh, the time he just went out of position, I think they're, they're playing more man marking than Zono, which sometimes is a little bit dangerous. A push there from Big George Chilufi on Sate Sate. Opportunity for a free kick. Dianashana will probably want to step up for this, the captain for Ankana. Well, that's the incident. George Chilufi just uh, putting his, his hand behind Sate Sate Kampamba. There's a bit of a talk there between uh, Joseph, Joseph and, Walter and, Walter. and Walter. Walter, well, you're very good in the air, so this is probably what they could be plotting. Tosta and Sabata has to be very, very careful here and uh, make a decision to come out or not. As they chipped in. It's back. Sate Sate 
and there are some of them adapting there. So for the dummy Justin Salata because everybody was paying attention to Walter Walia. The goalkeeper should have commanded that area, he should have come out and punched the ball. I don't understand what he's doing coming out there and doing nothing. Well, all kudos go out to Ronald Sate Sate Kampamba because to score from there with the man of his attributes, he's not really tall. So for him to score from there, remarkable. Very remarkable indeed, and also uh, hats off to Joseph Musonda. That was a really nice killer. Like that look at the celebration there from uh, Dada Shano and company. So then it's Nkana Football Club one, Zanako nil. So the home side have done what's expected of them, have got the opening goal here, and now it's all about Zanako trying to come through and see if they can get that equalizer. They have been very good, Zanako. They've, they've tried, they've been able to open that defense and they bring in the cross. Bounces of Roderick Kawe, a bit out of position, but it's going to get this. It's good. Tenashano. Tenashano misses the ball, gets the misses the player, gets the ball. He could easily get a card here, Tenashano, but looks like he might not. Oh, but Tenashano Malama, so strong. Well, fortunate for Tenashano is that Roderick Kawe just. Well, he did get the man. And but did, did, he got he, the ball. did he get the ball though? He, looks like he did get a touch of it, but either way, that man there. Many a times you watch we, we watch him play and he, he is going to get a yellow card. He needs to be a bit careful because at the times there's no danger like on that position. What was that about? He could have easily just stood his ground. Anyway, throw in to Zanako Kapumbu to take it. He too has got the long one, so everybody will be trekking forward. So they've only got uh, Gift Sakwaha remaining long throwing right in there and Walter is used both ways he can come and defend and now clear respect on the sham Manama is such a serious player on the pitch leading from the front and the captain really needs to do that long one again from uh, Kapumbu deep in the 18 Roderick Heads it off, up and in, just cleared by Walter again. Walter Wally is a very integral player to this kind of side because in the times that corner kicks to defend or attack, he will be utilized. So then 20 minutes gone here in the first half, and what a game we're having here. And it's coming to you, Kerasi, Bola Yapa Z. You can get in touch and tell us what you think. Hashtag SS Baller. Send us that tweet. Jacob Ngolube. Times you, you don't see him because he's quick to release the ball. He's the kind of player who knows where the ball is. He's going to pass the ball before he actually gets position of it. Sato Sato goes down virtually. If you again insist, I got the ball at Kampamba. Now he's uh, moving with the swag of a striker in form. Well, if they allow Kampamba to run into space all afternoon, George Chilufia and Gift Sakaa will be second best. The lack in pace and he's just way too intelligent to be boxed out in such a way. So then, Apanen, it looks like you'll be the one to take this one. Of a dead ball, remember that's where they, con they considered a goal. Zanako, they want to be very doubly careful now. Now they're looking for Walter, not only looking out for Walter, but also for rather diminutive Sate Sate, because now they know he can't get at the end of this. And again, looks like it's Joseph Musonda to take. He was the one now who made that uh, goal earlier. So what goes Zanako? We've got two man war here, where Kasonde and Charles Zulu are. Cross comes again, goalkeeper comes out this time, punches, and Sate Sate is in position. Isaac, nicely done. Chip backwards. Jacob Ngulube is meant to chip it. He goes for the return pass, up, but a bit too much there from uh, Shemenga. It goes out for a throw in. But Nkana, I've got the tails up here. Well, the ball goes in. A little bit suspect from uh, Tostan Savage. Not so convincing. He comes out and punches the ball. But had there been a little bit of contact from Walter Wally. I think the defending from George Chilufi as well, not so good. Having a big game here from Ghana and he needs to. Now, here is Kampamba to Jacob Ngulubi. Shemengi again does a good job. Kampamba. Oh, long pass that and a bit too much for fashion. But it was being followed all the while 
by Gib Gibbons. Sinyango has fitted in very well in that central pairing with uh, Joseph Musonda. So then they'll be hoping to get those three points and to see if they can reduce the gap to five. Sana uh, uh, Nkana will certainly be happy if they can do that. They need to start beating the big sides and doesn't come any bigger than this in the form of Zanako, one of the highly sponsored sides. Them again, maybe power. Zanako, yeah, uh, definitely rank amongst the, the teams that are looked after very, very well with Power Dynamos and uh, Zesco United, definitely. And kind of maybe just behind those four, those three. Good little one-twos there. For Sanchez having a good game as well. Apparently a one touch nicely for Simon Sinimba. And again, they're getting into that 18 chip inside. And cleared away there by Kapumbu. Came off his uh, position to just help out in the centre. Very clearical in terms of how they're passing the ball. It's simple one, two, puts it in the space. Sacha Sacha is looking to just tap it in. If it wasn't for Faxon Kampumbu, that ball was going in. Sacha Sacha is a prowler. He's just pro prowling in that 18 area. And he was going to get that tap in. You want to look in and around just to make sure that he's nowhere near because it's very, very lethal. Now, Saint Sakala. Beats his man and brought down in the process though. Given Sinyangwe dropping deep. Well, Seth gets the turn around on Sinyangwe, but Sinyangwe used to push to use his shoulder, but it's a little bit too late. So it's dimmed a foul by Stanley Achua. Comes high. Scott Gokane there, almost mistiming that. <laughs> but it skips a sign to say, easy, I'm in charge. <laughs> Not today. You'll be happy to keep a clean slate again, especially against the team of uh, this caliber, Zanako. So the bankers wanting to cash in here, but Tinkana being resilient. Charles Zulu has changed the uh, flanks. Joseph Musonda experience heads it back to Scott. It's conspicuous with those green gloves that he has. Muzo uses the player out, nicely done in the end. But Kasonde heads. Now raising their hands, was he offside? Looks like he was, Fasha. Certainly was, according to Oliver Mwene. Second assistant, all the way from uh, Lusaka. Southern. They will want to pile up as many points as possible the two of, of them because they know that Zesco will be breathing heavily when they start uh, fulfilling their fixtures on the home front and that, that does, I think does start uh, this weekend Zesco United back pass there from Apanene to his goalkeeper Scott obviously he cannot touch that one Walter and against Chilufia Sate Sate drifts in. Simon has been very critical. Little passes there with uh, Jacob Gulubin. Sends it wide, looking for Walter, and he does a good job. Walter drifting to the left. Goes for the back heel, but doesn't work out. Roderick is now on the right, and it manages to ride the tackle there from Walter. Roderick is looking for players in front of him. Said Sakala back to his captain. To Kasonde. Poor man, kind of man is brought down by Sate Sate. Went down a bit too easy there, the fans felt. Sate Sate, not, not, not really known for his strength. Well, it was a case of uh, Sate Sate looking to better, get the better of Richard Kasonde. Kasonde just maximizing off that infringement. I should be feeling good uh, about himself because uh, as, a, as a striker, no matter how well you play overall, if you just are not getting the goals and two, three games are going by, you know, that confidence starts to go away. But now that he's back on the scoring trail, it could just uh, be the start, the, the start of uh, goals from him. Well, like the saying goes, class is eternal form is temporal. So we've seen the very best of Sate Sate. He's been top scorer here in the league for Nkana. 
So if you doubt him, then maybe you didn't see the best of Sate Sate. But right now, like you rightly put it, when you score a goal, the confidence levels just tend to come back. And you can see it in the way he's running. I mean, who would have thought that he can foul Richard Kasonde in that fashion? It's an intelligent foul, though. He just kind of tagged him. And let's, uh, you know, give him a bit of a spin. Now, this is what we're talking about. Rodri Cup with the standing captain can score from there. We've seen him do that. Very lethal, that left foot. And he shoots. Cleared by uh, Joseph Musonda. Now gift in possession now. Just puts it forward, but straight to Roderick though. Kasonde now. Not de decided Isaac Chance. Kapumbu. Twist and he uh, eventually dips it into that 18. Now Walter Wilder. There's no one in front of him. He's oh, trying to go past uh, gift but does, does a good job simon silim but now george lufia trying to rest there but uh, stands strong the man mountain in that defense for zanakon clears and now say sakala to charles zulu he's got danashano malama for company cuts inside and lays it off to safe cleared by joseph roderick cuts shoots from there Ball bounces water while you're now. He's got guilt for company. He oh, does a bad job there. And well read, though, by uh, the captain. That's a foul from Delashano Malama. This time he gets himself in the river. It's book. And like we said, it's always going to come against this man here. Well, Delashano's physicality normally sells him short. He picks up the yellow card here. Stanley Achua feels enough is enough. Well, it was Charles Zulu looking to hit the ball. The high boots, a little bit too much. And, and it's not in an area of action that can bring any significant change to the game. Twice now, his misjudged tackles have not really yielded much. His strength is his weakness. It's too physical. Sometimes you need that. Sometimes you really don't. Kapombo just chips it in that 18 again. High. Mango need to clear that, lays it off to Danashano. Oh, now you need a strength, definitely. Again, uh, wayward on that occasion, though. Kapumbo will take so pressure mounting on this kind of side. That 18 again, bubbles opportunity there for fashion to shoot. Took a bit of too much time, and a pan in the clears. Good chest control there from Simon Bualia. Again, he's brought down. Foul to Nkana. So it's end-to-end -end stuff, this. Box to box. So much movement. High pest game. And it's just one little touch off the ball. Salulani Piri there. Just reminding Simon Bualia that he's also in this game. Nice layoff there. Sate Sate. Jumps on that one. Looking to cross there, but straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Tostan Sabata. Holds on to the boat a bit longer. Looking for players to just open up. Straight to the Nashano and Scott will collect this. Take a bit of a sweet time. Well, Nkwazi leading in their game against Arrows. The rest of the games being played at uh, new new so far. But here, the difference has been Ronald Sate Sate Kampamba. It's Menga again to Walter. Chest control. Good turn by, brought down by uh, George Chilufia. And, and it's always going to be awkward because Sate is so small, George is so big, so any push just looks like it's wrong. <laughs> well, like I said, he's got a very intelligent footballing brain, Ronald Sate Sate Kampamba. So he's using it to his benefit. Look at that. He knows George is coming behind him. He just changes the direction of the passes. And George does get the ball. But, you know, is, <laughs> is, is that judge to have uh, <laughs> infringed on Sate Sate's space? So Stanley Achua. And yeah. this is very similar fashion to how the goal came in. Eight fouls for Nkana and, of course, uh, nine for Zanako. One yellow card being handed to Donashano Malama in the 29th minute. Again, 
almost uh, a replica of uh, how the gate the goal came in and it's joseph musonda again who's a master of ceremonies for this nice chip in there hand boy is it cleared eventually but the fans were raising their hands given sinyangwe allows for the ball to go out there well water does make a little bit of contact with the ball there salura nipiri is looking to clear or oh, no handball there. Saka is thigh and Simon well is very close and yet is uh, raising his hands. At times it's deliberate. <laughs> he wanted to fool the, the referee, but Stanley Hachiwa not being fooled. A well, very difficult technique from um, Faxon Kapumbu there because he looks to hit it on the volley and that ball was always turning. So as you make contact with it, uh, if it's done correctly, it's, it's, it's uh, a spectacle. But if it's done badly, well, more or less, you make the ball boys work. Charles Zulu. Wide now come from Babata. Charles Chilufia uh, heads. Water! 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 to the sword by Nkana. Boy, oh, it's one route, one pass that comes from Donashano Malama. George Chirufia is in that space and gives a power really. As the ball comes in, brilliant run coming through from the one and only Water Warrior. He just picks his sport and just packs it. And he had an option to pass it to Ronald Sate Sate Kampamba, but he went for glory. And that goal takes his tally to 14 for the season. Actually, that passes from Sumenga. Nicely done. Walter Warrior, depth touch. Goodness, you have two poachers uh, playing alongside each other in Sate Sate and Walter. It's going to be problems here. 14 goals now. Brilliant start from Walter Warrior. So, Mkana are on a high here and it's Nkana Football Club to Zanako Neil. Wow, whatever plan they had put together, Zanako, they need to just change it here, it's not working. They need to have a better way of uh, Oh, Richard Kasonde looking to just push his way and his weight through. But there was a lot of cover coming from Jacob Ngulube and Musonda, Joseph Musonda there. We did talk about the weak link being between probably George and Gip Sakwaha. Not necessarily that it has been, but just get the feeling the Prince of Zia Tamba would have made a huge difference in that uh, backline for Zanaka and Numba Mamba will probably know that. But you have to work with what you have because cards and all are part of the game the injuries and all that zia tempo is on the is in the stands well in the last five games they've now conceded five goals three before today in the last five now making this game six they've considered five goals so far and so the goes to 11 for the season mm. not as invisible as uh, most thought zanako they're being, they're being found out here by the two sides from uh, Copa Bell Power beat them 2-1. Now they are trailing 2-0 and it's only the first half. But let's see what happens. Roderick shoots from there into a player and it goes out for a corner. I think it was actually given Sinyango just put his body to it. So corner kick, Rod, and it's Charles Zulu to take. Comes high killing. Danashano heads back to Charles and is going to throw it back. Heads bubbles around. Danashano just makes the save. Water fails to clear. Eventually he makes the pass. Apaneneno. He's got Sate Sate in front, but Salulani does a good job. Apanene fighting there. Salulani now shoots what? But I thought he was going to cross. What was he doing? Well, that, that lost the plot, Sanako. 
or signs of frustration. So that if you there, we had so many options, but he opted to just uh, balloon the ball. And that's what pressure does to you, because this kind of side has just stuck to the script. They've managed to expose that middle of the pack. Water Walia and Sati Sati running through the spaces in the channels because there's that weak link that we've been talking about of George Chilufi and Gift Sakawa. No much coordination and really the goalkeepers what Tosta Savanta didn't help the situation. Right now, the plan has to change from Zanako if they have any chances of picking up points from this game. Chakop Ngulube busy in the center. Shmenge now gets his man. Oh, nicely done. Look at the one-two. Water now. Off a pass from uh, Kampamba. The two players. Shimenge does a good job. Then Ashano, just uh, different wavelengths. Joseph Musonde tries to clear. He doesn't do very well. Shimenge, oh, Kasonde, like we said, is a very, very strong player. Just start uh, bringing out his physicality there. Charles Zulu is running for the sword to Danashano. And uh, now he's a bit concerned. He knows Danashano will just go and just sweep that player and ball together. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was always second best to that ball from Faxon Kapumbu. Very long, too much weight on the ball. Long throw, Kampamba. Looking for Walter. Oh, but the, the way they're playing, Walter and, 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 and uh, Kampamba, very intelligently. If they're, they're seeing each other, they're, they're reading each other's movement. Very difficult to contain because both of them can leave that, that central and just move to the wings and still go, do a good job. Now, look at the pass again. We're talking about here. Gift has to contend with Walter. Walter tends his marker. Chipped. Simon oh, what, is trying to lay off to Kampan, but in the end, Salulani clears. Roderick is on the right to be looking to cut inside. He does. But that marked Apanene again. So Onkana here that are putting on the magic long pass looking for Walter. Is he going to keep it in play? It bounces off and it goes out for a throw in. Everything that Onkana is doing is just working in their favor. Zanako are self destructing. In the middle, I think Saldani would be better off partnering with George Lufia because uh, Gift is not working out for them there. And they're, they're all lacking pace with the exception of Saldani and Faxon Kapumbu. Seven attempts at goal from Ghana. Two of them have been goals. Shots on target. Well, three from Ghana. Two have uh, gone in. Zanako have uh, two shots on target, but they've not even met Scott Gokane work. Oh, well, they have not, really. Sunday, look at that little one, too. Doesn't work again. Looks like there was an offside there from uh, Fashion. From Safe, I think. So the two traditional distant cousins, like Dennis Lugo would say, not working as they always have to make it. Close control, does a good job. He's pushed though by uh, Bogos up throw in to Zanako. Pumbu just pushed him there a bit. Everything seems to be working out for Nkana here. They've just upped their game. They've not been very convincing in their last games. Uh, Nkana, despite uh, getting the wins, but today they've been exceptionally convincing, at least in the first half. Joseph Msonda just safety first. Kapumbu probably thought he would have come to get this one, but quickly done with Fashion and Charles Zulu. He's got Joseph Msonda. Maxon a little backlift there, but manages to just give it some distance. Simon now. The diminutive little man there. Pass. Walter was almost offside. What was onside actually? It was Sati Sati had the ball come to him. Kasonde, the holding midfielder. Ah, dispossessed. Walter now. A lot of green in front of him. Chips looking for Sati Sati. Just got just broke down. Well, that could have easily been a penalty, but. It's not George again, like we said, awkward against the little man. George Rufia will be exposed all afternoon long if he's left in space with such a such a water body. There was contact there. Yeah, I think there was contact. I think the fortunate bit is that he didn't have, he wasn't close to the ball, Ronald Sati Sati Kampamba. Hence standing at you are not blowing for a penalty. But it's Sati now. Not recover. Isaac Chancer. Oh, look at the fight there in the middle of the pack. It has been quite the quarter. 
Simon looks a bit surprised at what was almost happening there. I think it was an elbow swinging. But anyway, Chiwa did not probably pay attention much, did not connect, I guess. Now, dip in the 18, the Nashano heads. Roderick shoots. What a Roderick come well. What a crack of a goal that. Well, it's 2 1, and all of a sudden, there's life in this game for Zanako, but what a goal. We did talk about this man. He can have a quiet afternoon. He just needs one moment to give us his brilliance. And, uh, well, Scott Kokani should have done much better. The pass back coming through there. He hits it on the volley and Scott has got no reply. That's the beauty of a goal. How oh, beautiful done this and it falls on him perfectly. Apanene, you can tell he knew that he's going to shoot, but what a goal that. Pitch perfect. So staggering that. Absolutely staggering. It's lands in the back of the net. Scott Gakane, no chance. Well, he has conceded. So, like we said, form was going to go out of the book here. It's in Kana 2, Zanako 1. And you could have had a pin drop when that one went in. Then Kana fans stand. But they are still leading. A fan in it. Sate Sate in that 18. He shoots us. It's a handball. And again, the referee does not blow. Sate Sate this time kind of complains. Said Sakala does a bad job. He's trying to get Charles Zulu. Quickly turned there. Player goes down. Uh, soft from uh, Kapumbu, you feel? Long one, got hardly time to catch your breath this game. Go a little bit wide now, looking for Danashano. Pushes forward now. Two big men. Otawala lays it off to. Ah, does a good job. Nicely cut inside. And the player goes down. Walter keeps to his feet though. Lays it off to Danashano. He's going to bring in the cross. He does. Walla! With that, well, then, well, Saul and if he provides a little bit of cover, Walter Walia just puts it in the space. And when it's put in that area by Donashano Malama, flat footed George Churufia and company, including Gift Kasonde, is also in there. But how does Simon Waller, arguably the shortest player on the pitch, him alongside Jacob Groove, out jump this huge Zanako defense? There's very little or no heart from this Zanako side. So then, at Nkana Stadium, it's Nkana 3, Zanako 1. But maybe the question is how long will it stay this way because it's goals galore here. I almost thought it was Sate Sate who caught in the end of that one, but it was the, the smallest man on the pitch. He just came through and scored. So two minutes of added on time here. They would, they would want to go to the break with this kind of scoreline in Kano. Chest control from fashion. And it's half time here. The referee, Stanley Hachua, blows the fans and static. What a first half we've had. Rodrigo with the captain, not happy at all. His fans and his players just not playing according to instructions. But that man has been top of his game here. And it's Nkana 3, Zanako 1. Join us again for the second half.
dip in the 18. Then I shall no heads. me the make It's half time here at the Nkana Stadium and the four goals we've seen in the first stanza three for Nkana and uh, Zanako down by three goals to one. So four goals it has produced in the first half and uh, we're looking forward to what promises to be an exciting second stanza. It has been fast paced. It's amazing how the first half has come and gone. The goals have suddenly come in and wherever you're watching us for the World of Champions, I'll tell you one thing and I know you've grabbed the front row seat so you don't miss out the action. Mukamba Mwenda Jr. joins me from commentary position onto pitch side and what a first half we've had. Four goals. Electric first half. What you expect to see when it comes to number one and number two. But in terms of uh, schoolboy errors, I think Zanako have won that crown because that defense really, all season long, they only conceded nine goals. They've conceded three in one game. They tend to keep it very close, this Zanako side. But this afternoon, disappointing. I'm sure Numba Mamba and company are very sad because... Uh, I wouldn't bet against Nkana scoring three more in the second half. All right, simply put, let's go straight into it, shall we? Starting with the first half highlights, and it's all been about the Zanako defense. Look at this, how they lined up. Let's just go through this one. Well, look at look at the positioning of George Chilufia, and of course, uh, his teammate, his partnering teammate in form of Gif Sakawa. Now, they were fortunate enough to, to, to have that go in their favor in terms of offside, but that was a tale of things to come. You cannot have two defensive players in that position Look at that. Where's the shape there? You've got two kind of players. And yes, water while you're at the far end was deemed offside. But once Simon puts, you know, Chimenga into space and Chimenga shoots towards goal, you can see the cracks in the, in the shape right there. Faxon Kapumbu was in the center. So clearly there was no shape whatsoever from the Zanako, no discipline. All right, and it certainly showed uh, that the Zanako defense obviously gifts Sakuha in the first 11, up a partner in George Chilufia. And again, question marks, and the defense was finally punished because it all had to be in kind of one-way traffic, you might say, and they eventually got the first goal. Well, when the ball was about to be taken by uh, Joseph Musonda, there was a little bit of talk between him and Walter Walia. And by the time they were talking, everybody was concentrating on Walter. And Tosta was the one who was guilty at the most because he was watching Walter Walia because he spoke to Joseph. But that was the dummy there. 
look at such a such a running towards there. Now, as a goalkeeper, the rule is very plain and simple. When you come out of your line, you either hold the ball or you parry it. That's criminal what, what Tostan Sabata did right there. Right, but maybe you might feel that he decided to come out because the defence was static. No, but either way, you, you command the defence as a goalkeeper. You need to be shouting there because the last man needs to know what he's doing. And yes, you know, Gift was flat-footed. He wasn't watching what Sate Sate was doing. If you look at Gift and his movement, they are very disappointing. But Tosta should have covered. He should have run towards the ball. It was in the air. He had that command because, truth be told, Sate Sate has got a lot of gifts and uh, he's blessed with so many things. Height is not one of them. If he's scoring from you in that position, that says a lot about your, your, your ability to sense danger. All right, so celebration time for Renaud Sate Sate Kampamba. He's playing his fourth game from Kana Football Club, having come back from a professional stint in Belgium. He's now scored two goals in those four games. Now, the goal suddenly came through, and it had to be that man yet again. He was creating spaces for himself into the 18 area. He was around that area, and it had to be Walter Walia to get the goal. Again, question marks about how the Zanako defense was lining up. I mentioned about how Walter is when it comes to his runs, and as the ball is placed in that area, look at Walter, he just picks his moment. The person in question once again, it's Gift. Earlier on it was Tosta Sabate and Gift. Gift is the weak link and look at them dabbing, they're enjoying it. At this moment, it's two games in favor of Nkana and the Zanako defense is capitulating really because you can't even blame the goalkeeper. Gift has an opportunity to clear his lines. He, I mean, Water watches his run. He's coming from the back. He watches what Gift does. Gift, as he'll fall down, you should clear the ball. You cannot fall down and leave it to a striker of the caliber of Water. Look at that. He just picks his point and he takes the ball into the net. Would you say it's the creativity of the Nkana players up front or it is Zanako defense that are not doing their job? Well, Zanako defense that are not doing their job. What Nkana is doing is remarkable, but this is exactly what they've been doing against most of the teams. But if you look at the likes of Nchanga, Nchanga had a better defense than Zanako at the moment. And it's, it's shocking because this Zanako side, in terms of conceding goals, going into this match, conceded only nine goals. They've now conceded three more. In the last five games, they considered three goals. Zanako are very stingy even away from home. All right. And talking about uh, one of the missing links in the Zanako setup, Zio Tembo is actually in the stands watching this afternoon's game, the Zanako captain. But at this stage, it looked like Zanako were going to make a comeback. And again, it had to be the captain. He's been getting the set pieces. He hasn't, uh, you know, managed to execute them as expected. But Rodrika, what a goal. Perfect for a TV advert. Well, on the half volley, and uh, if you look at Scott Gokane, he was just taking photos there. I think he's a brilliant photographer because he didn't even know what was going on. When you look at Rodrika, when how he just put the ball he, 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 he removes the sting out of the ball in terms of the pace with his first touch with the chest and he hits it on the half volley Scott has got no reply to that probably the best thing that Roderick did all, all game long because I kept on asking myself a question he's the captain he needs to motivate the lads and when he motivated them with that goal the only thing Zanako needed to do is concentrate further go into the half at least two goals to one down but alas, Zanako were flat-footed again. They were just watching what was going on. They considered the third goal. And for me, that was the nail in the coffin. All right, so round 24 of the MTN First Super League. It's Bola Pazed. And for Rodri Kawe, just telling the critics, hey, take it easy, keep quiet for now. Thereby scoring his 60th goal. His 60th goal in this 2016 campaign. And at that stage, it was towards the end of the first stanza. You'd have probably thought that Zanako are going to concentrate. You probably think they went on a honeymoon after that goal, and thereby Simon were rising to the occasion. Well, they, ju they just basically lost it. I mean, if you look at the passage of play, Water Walia brings the ball towards the back, and there's a little bit of a Donashano Malama as usual. He puts it in that space. Now, there's three players there. <laughs> really, I think it's, it's disappointing uh, when you look at it. This, these are professional footballers. The ball is passed by Donashano Malama, it's put in that space. Look at the run coming from Simon Wadia. He's running towards them. They can see him, the three of them. They're flat-footed. They don't even jump. They don't even talk to each other. Look at that. They're all watching. You've what got Tosta? Tosta on there. He had a touch at the near post. You, th you probably thought you yes, but but, 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 uh, it but but you can't really blame Tosta because it was so quick. He probably expected the defenders in front. You've got Richard Kasonde there. And the celebration from Agri Chiengi. Well, that's, uh, that's remarkable.
All right, so interesting stuff here as uh, it's the halftime year uh, on the World of Champions uh, from Nkana Stadium in uh, Kitwe. So, three goals up, Nkana Football Club are up, eight goals on attempt in terms of goal attempts, six for Zanako, four possession, Nkana commanding literally everything. Yes, we've seen one yellow card also going Nkana's way. Well, Nkana picking up their yellow card, Donashano Malama needs to ease up a little bit. But if you look at the, you know, the action areas, 40% in the middle, Zanako not dominating as they normally do in terms of passing the ball. They're very good in terms of the flanks from Charles Zulu and of course on the other side from Roger Kawe but Zanako not enterprising that much but the problem with Zanako has been in defense. Nkana have done all the right things. Every time they've had a chance they've managed to control. You're talking about the defense. A change should be made. Let's start with Zanako. All throughout our discussion we've been talking about the Zanako defense. Well Zanako defense a change should be made but right now Zanako need to concentrate on scoring. Uh, they don't have an out and out centre forward. Maybe the Ghanaian Atram can come in and probably play. Ernest Mbewe should probably come in for maybe even the captain, Rodri Kawe, because the flanks are, are, are arguably dead in front. Seth Sakala and uh, Fashion Sakala, one of them can rest for Aubrey Funga because they need to score goals if they're going to win this game. You have to throw the kitchen sink at the moment. Who's going to win it, Stu? <laughs> well, Nkana, Nkana playing some very beautiful football. All right, so Muka feeling that, uh, you know, Nkana will definitely reach. I'll tell you one thing, the last time we had a 3-1 scoreline between these two sides was way back in 2008. Zanako won at home, 3-1 and away at this venue. We take a very short ad break. The second stanza is with us. Keep it here. All the world of champions, super sport. Hey, simply put, all I've has already got better. Welcome back to Nkana Stadium where the league leaders Zanako Football Club are being put to the sword here by a team that uh, a lot would have thought would struggle here against uh, the team that has scored over 50 goals. But it's Nkana in the red taking the ball now from uh, right to left that are really pushing this game and uh, making the home ground advantage count. The fans also have come out in huge numbers and are making sure that uh, Zanako know that they're playing away. Zanako is strong side, like we said, over 25 goals away from home. Sate, Sate, though, in that 18 area, go, goalkeeper comes and collects. And uh, again, Gift uh, has certainly been uh, a bit of a weak link in that defense because uh, this is the first time he's playing ever since he came from Forest. That's why at times rotating players, especially when you're using weak teams, is important. That man is the reason that Gift is playing. Uh, Zio Tembo, the captain, is not uh, in the starting lineup today because he was... Uh, 
red card in his last game, and that's the reason he's on the bench. But Zia Tembo in there, you just feel that maybe it wouldn't be 3-1. Having said that, great game from Kana. I think the strikers have been razor sharp. So uh, we're not taking anything away from them. But they really need to up their game, uh, Zanako, in defense if they're going to get anything out of this game. As it stands, it's Zankana leading here. Three goals to one. And a free kick, though, for Zanako. Really hoping if they can get one very, very early here. It'll certainly be what the doctors ordered if it does happen. Fumbu crosses. But Denashano, who has really been impressive in that defense, heads and it goes out for a corner. So then, second half, no changes made so far, uh, Mukamwenda. No changes made. All systems go. We expect some changes probably in the next uh, 15 minutes or so by the hour mark. But like you rightly put it, Zio Tembo's absence has led to those mistakes by Zanako. Charles Zulu with the corner, but had, has had to be halted a bit because uh, Stanley Achi was just talking to the players to stop that tagging and pushing in that 18 area. Corner comes and it bounces off and just goes off for a corner, but it was very close. The Isaac Chancer was involved there, so to say Sakala. So, trouble here. Second corner in succession here for Zanako. Comes nice kill again. Ball bounces. Somebody just sh shoot and they're failing to clear their lines. And Simon would be easy about it. And does clear. Oh, Sate Sate now. But uh, Gift will clear his lines or does he? He leaves it. And Sate Sate has pickpocketed the big man and he's brought down. The referee decides there's nothing doing there. So good recovery from Gift. But goodness, hat in the mouth moment there. Isaac Chancer in the middle. Nice layoff because on the wide now, Charles and Max with Green in front of him. It's good Tanashano though to contend with. Cuts inside, bits his mark and shoots though. Uh, but to acute an angle there, he should have been crossing probably rather than shooting at goal. But this moment. Without any pressure, an unforced error from Gifts. And really, Sade Sade's quickness, he was fortunate there that Sade Sade opted to just try to hold on to the ball and Gift just nicked it back. But truth be told, he's having a horror of an afternoon. Started very well, gift should be said. But again, you want to rotate your defenders. It can't be in the books of Zanako, and this is his first game that he's playing. And uh, look at when it happens against Nkana away. You can't, you can't, you can't fault the man. He's always going to be have a bit of a panic button because he has not played with the side. He's not gelled with the rest yeah, of the came, defenders. He came off the bench for Blackpool, but you know, ever since he joined them from Forest, I think he's not had that regular play and that's what it is about central defenders there's that relationship that you have in a partnership where you know when you're standing here your, your your teammates will be in line or you know his positioning in this instance they're playing as individuals and it's failing ah nicely done to Jacob Ngulube but uh, Kampamba probably did not read that but you can tell what they're trying to do there Tostan Sabata will be very quick uh, with no time to waste here Zanako if they can get the second goal pretty quick things could easily change here but it looks like there will be substitution uh, time for Zanako it's a quick substitution early substitution then you wonder here what uh, could be the reason but yes the substitution is on so Peter Banda looks like uh, he's coming on here he's coming on for gift clearly there's a problem and the call has been made an answer I mean, it's really bad for his confidence levels, but either way, he's supposed to probably realize what's going on. It will be a double substitution. The Ghanaian Atram will be coming on. Well, that double substitution will, will have to hold here as uh, Salulani Piri takes that one, but it goes up for a throw-in again. Simon Wale drops back to help score up the third goal. So Gift just... Uh, is substituted and he's really not had a, a very very good game here but like we said maybe it's a lesson learned there but you have to use this players in the smaller games really long throw that Walter again comes to help out goalkeeper will come Scott and will collect I've been very formidable in that defense uh, George Lufia and Zio Tembo and at times as a, as a coach you don't want to, to, to change uh, what, what's working for you but, but maybe there is need sometimes, especially even as a substitute, when, when you're winning a game, they were winning 6-0 or 6-1 at some point, surely. 
you want to bring in a man to just begin to settle with the gel with the team. But the Zanago side has not played as a unit in this game. I mean, one might argue that Gift has been the weakest link in this equation. But George himself has also felt the likes of uh, Faxon Kapumbu as well. Salulani also made a couple of mistakes. But more importantly, Tostan Savata gifted two goals because he would have done something there. Well, Kwame to come in for fashion. So defensively, sub the subsidy has been there and also forward. One of the Sakala Sakalas has been substituted in the name of fashion. Well, the Ghanaian is uh, one of those who's very quick in the box, so we kind of need to pay attention. Salulani now. The Ghanaian forward. Nicely done there to save. Safe is good to Nashano. He beats him, but not a panene. Panene has met the left fullback, his own. Before this, uh, maybe Ntushimba used to be the natural left fullback for Nkana. Ever since Apanene came in, he's been relegated to the bench, but still. Got a word of experience. Anytime he comes in, you know you're in good hands. Uh, maybe in Shimba. Long throw this. Again, kind of clear, but only just. It's going to be yet another throw in. Almost like a corner, they say. You need to be certainly careful. They've only got two, one man remaining in that defense. Zanako. So it shows you how eager they are going for that goal. Long one. Kapumbo again. Nicely headed. And again, they fell to. Clear their lines. Very lucky they are not dealing with these uh, throw-ins very well uh, in Kana, are they now? Well, Richard Kasonde just uh, hits the ball. It's always rising. Nice flick coming through from uh, the captain. And the ball was always rising from Richard Kasonde. Kasonde would have easily been his. And this is the second time this has happened. Nice flick on. Earlier on, there was nobody. And Richard Kasonde looks to hit it towards goal, but it was always rising there. Suzanako so started the second half pretty strong here, and they needed to. As Isaac Chancer and Cobb wanted to, to dictate that midfield. Now, Joseph Musonda. High and hanging and straight to the goalkeeper. So they are struggling partnership wise again now. The big man, uh, George Shalifia, needs to work with uh, Peter Jacob Banda. I think when we saw the starting 11, we did have a chart, you and I, uh, that uh, maybe Salulani would be better positioned to partner George Chilufia in the center because he's a utility player. Yeah, but again, maybe, you know, Kana has got three interesting wings in Simon Walia, for instance, and the likes of Water who like to drift, so to Kampamba, so they utilize their wings very, very well in Kana's heart. It's, it's a, it's a and Zanako, Zanako, sword. Have, Zanako have had their chances, fair share of chances, but they have not executed them well. Yeah. Uh, well, from Kana, they've, they've really come out and maximized on their chances. Charles Zulu there just looks to shoot towards goal, but if you're going to beat Scott Nkekani from that position, it has to be something remarkable. Maybe you should have uh, picked up a couple of notes from uh, his captain, Rodri Kawe, because uh, the scorcher that he scored in the first half. Oh, certainly the best goal of uh, the, the lots. The one from Ronald Drake, it was such a screamer that. Goalkeeper was just clutching at the air. Now, a panene to Jacob Ngulube. Shmenge turns to Jacob again. Beats his marker brilliantly. Asanga Walete Asalulani on this side. Chimenge just pushing his man and tries to cross, goes out from Kasonde. It's a corner to Nkana. Now they're beginning to get back into their stride, Nkana. Chimenge to take. Quickly does to Apanene. And now they want to, to withdraw from there. Kela that from... Uh, Fred Shemenge, but uh, goes completely wide. But it will be a quick start again from uh, Tostan Sabata. And this is uh, Zanako we're talking about. They can't get something out of this game. 
can't really count them out, but a bad one that from uh, Tosta. Tosta just takes it back to his goalkeeper. I can't hold that one, but finally puts it in the right way. Charles Zulu to Saint Sakal. Good Joseph Musonda for company. Oh, they do a good job. Charles Zulu cuts inside in the 18 area. And it's uh, nicely cleared there. And they'll start again. Charles Zulu tries to dummy. Then Ashano, but nothing doing. So I'm kind of, Zanako definitely had a serious pep talk at the halftime and they are taking this game to the home side. The best form of defense is attack. We kind of need to push the ball further. Doesn't help them that they're playing in their own half. They are bound to make a mistake. And we've seen those mistakes just that uh, things are have not been clinical. Those long throw ins just bubbling in that 18 corner comes. And again, they've hit the upright. And that's what we keep saying they're not defending very well, are they now? And kind of the fans obviously not impressed so far. Goalkeeper comes out and the ball goes out for a goal kick. But again, Zanako look very, very coming very, very close. Very poor and kind of when it comes to set plays. It's put in that space. Everybody is confused. Scott Kukana is not doing anything. George Lufia goes and jumps and his opinion is not even jumping. I mean, it's like watching what George Lufia is doing. Oh, but that certainly on meaning business there, but uh, the upright doesn't uh, count as tight being on target. Water shoots, goalkeeper Tostas makes a save there. Water using his weaker foot, the right foot, but still enough sting there for Tosta only to get it at the second time of asking. Apparently, probably want to slow down the game a bit because they are under pressure here as uh, this is an aqua side. Are suddenly pushing in Kana now. Long throw in from Mapanene. Walters dropped. Nicely done. And that nice layoff in there. The goalkeeper comes out. Oh, but he makes a mistake. Chimenge was in two minds there. I think his momentum just carried him further because uh, his first touch didn't help the situation. But the idea was brilliant. And that's, that, those, are the, those are the hiccups in this Zanako defense. If you look at the pass coming from Simon. Chimenge, unfortunately, I mean, it, it was a case of... Well, hey! Isaac Chansa gets the second goal for Zanako. And we kept mentioning that they are not very steady. Other now, Kana in that defense, and Isaac Chansa has come and punished them. Like we said of, of Zanako, they will score from literally every department. The midfield at work, Isaac Chansa. Oh, here's the goal. Look at the pass. Isaac is in that space. He just goes and, you know, as he's going to the ground, he just hits the ball. It goes in. And great pass coming from Seth Sakala. He just pulls onto two defenders. Isaac gets the better of his marker there in form of Given Nyangwe. Look at that. Given is left for date. Apenene is not even there. Scott Gekani is on the ground. It's game on. Definitely game on. Again, almost end-to-end uh, -end stuff here. Pendulum seriously is swinging. It's... Nkana Football Club 3, Zanako 2. So then, <laughs> we have a game here, definitely. Chip inside the 18. Charles Zulu tries to keep it in play, he does. The players fouled, but the referee allows for them now. State Sakala. He's got Charles going forward, Charles Zulu. Moves at Danashano Malama does a good job and it goes out. So then, even as we hit the 60th minute mark here, Z Zanako on the comeback, Roderick Kawe, the captain, back to Salulani. The one to cross has got uh, Jacob Mleng, Jacob uh, Golube, but it passes again in that 18 area, not too steady in that defense in Kana. Again, problems for them. Little one, two. It's uh, Jacob in possession now, wide to Chimenge. Jacob runs, races into that 18 area, waiting for that cross to come in. Cuts inside, nicely done. Simon puts himself in harm's way. And makes that blockade, Isaac Chansa is it. Such a Charles Zulu dropping back. 
So you can't just uh, get your eyes off this game because scores galore. We haven't seen much from the Ghanaian a drum who looks to trap the ball and get, get the better of given there. He does have the physicality. It would be nice to see his movement in space. We've heard so much about his space and how he has that uh, capability to just beat one or two markers. Some medical attention will be sought by Freddie. Fred Chimenga don't, don't look very good. Can't really tell what could happen to him, but. Well, so the question of a student and a teacher. Agri Chiang, remember, was coaching this Zanako side. And uh, so far, he's peeping it here by just three goes to two. But you can tell that his pupil has learned quite a lot. It comes high, Scott collects. He was rather inside, so really trying to chip him there from uh, Kapumbu. So the noise in the stadium, not as was in the first half because Zanako have come back and now they're trailing only by a goal and at this rate they could get the second one Isaac Chance wide there but the goalkeeper comes up Rodrika will miss as a sitter Danashano Malama there sloppy on that occasion Gokane came in and at least obstructed Rodrik talk about unforced areas the ball goes there Donashano what is he doing Rodrik just needed to just put a little bit of wet on the side, not under the ball. It was always rising there, but that's fortunate for the captain, Donashano, because that was a great assist in the wrong direction. Oh, that was uh, a silver plate that shoots, hits the player on the hand. The referee, yes, he will blow, definitely. I thought that was a hand ball that. Walter Wallier, you don't give him that kind of space. He's going to pull the trigger. And now it's a great opportunity, this. The likes of Jacob Gulubi actually can score from that distance. Don't know what the Zanako fans are complaining about there. Oh, Sate Sate equally seems to be interested in that happening as well. So Sate Sate looks like. He's, he's lining up for that, but also apparently is standing at a position at which he could kill it. He's a left footer. But Sate really looks poised. And you got all that uh, numbers of people there, but Nkana, 13 apiece, <laughs> powers with Zanako. So Sate, Sate is, is checking. But it's apparently He's hoping that this, the, the wall would go high. It didn't. And a weak shot in the end from Kampamba. High ball this. Said Sakala, good first touch. Joseph Musonda clears it. This is a big game, Joseph. Times is getting lost in the thicker things. Charles Zuli is having a big game. He's been uh, a terror on that flank. Cross comes. Heads by uh, Joseph Musonda. First touch. Charles he makes a mistake. Now look at that from uh, Isaac Chansa, but a bit too much though. Too close to Danashano. Rodrik puts it inside and they will allow it to go out. Southern, a bit uh, shaken, you feel, uh, in Kana Football Club. Well, they are. They're not really doing what they did very well in the first half, I think. They came into this one very comfortable, knowing that a 3 1 lead was a comfortable lead. But in the game of football, anything can happen. A lot of unforced errors from Nkana. We have not seen a lot of this man, Walter Wadia. Likewise, Sate Sate. I'm not so confused with Scott. Sometimes it just tends to just make a mockery of his uh, attempts. He's, he's very comical with his uh, goalkeeping. So, Fonkana, they really need to just calm down, control play, because if Zanapo score the next one, it's a huge, huge problem for Nkana. Oh, certainly. But Walter well, yeah, probably has something to say about that. Unfortunately, he fails to bring that one under his spell and go straight to the goalkeeper. Tosta again, like you said, is very quick to release uh, the ball there because they really want to get that equalizer and let's get something out of this game. Touch Chilufia, heads, Kasonde. And again, it's Anako Said Sakal. He's got his captain on his side, but it gives it to 
the substitute. Kwame wide again. Cross comes in. Like Joseph Musonda stands in. Roderick shoots on the volley but does not get a hold of it. Well, Seth, after passing the ball to Atra, got a little bit injured. He will be looking to get some uh, medical attention. Well, looks like maybe he got hit in the face somewhere at some point. I don't know if that the referee saw that. Or a belated present that will go out here. Joseph Musonda will pick up yellow for his altercation with Seth Sakala. He doesn't seem to, to care when he alter. He's just busy talking away. Oh, here's Seth Sakala just... Ah, it's an elbow in the face. When Atram got the ball, there it is. The pass is made to Atram. Joseph just goes straight elbows. Seth Sakala. Oh, he said I knew what he was Have doing, some Joseph. Messi. He's just a newlywed. <laughs> Well, well, then I guess uh, he didn't get the notice, uh, Joseph Musonda. Long throw in to Nashano. Uh, will they keep it in play? They do, Sate Sate. Oh, he beats his marker nicely. Good pass. Jacob Gulube wants to go to back to Sate. Shoots just wide. But good, good combination there. Sate Sate, Jacob Gulube there. Good movement. Sade Sade has got quick pace and John Chilufia should be in a different area to where he is. Look at him. First touch, very brilliant. Brings it back. And Peter has got no answer for that because Peter Banda is just that lost in everything there. And I think the angle was a little bit acute. Safe just brings it inside, but it's cleared. And it goes out. Well, Peter is a substitute for Gift. And, uh, and I'm, I'm sure he's under, he understands what was happening uh, with Gift in there. Kokane just uh, puts it off the bar, but surely it looked a bit simple. But almost just uh, dipping into that goal. So corner and there's, cancer. There's, there was, there's always something unconvincing about Scott's clearances and his just command of the area. Corner Roderick though to take. And they've, they've not been very convincing in Kana where dead balls are concerned. And Zanakwe have got the fifth corner here. Nicely killed in. And again it bubbles there. Eventually apparently it clears. That's sixes and sevens whenever it's a corner dead ball situation in Kana. Rodrik. Salulani. Good control, Walter. He's got such good uh, close control. The ball there's just a bit of a ping pong in there. Kasonde looking for Salulani who's running wide. And they let the ball bounce. Isaac almost going for the overhead. It's a footballing nightmare what's going on for both teams right now. There's no calmness with the ball. You can't see a sort of approach play. They're just really putting pressure on each other. And uh, you can hear the fans are not happy at all because Nkana is not defending well. Kasonde now. David Kauma is an on the ball. And Banda, a new man, just pushes forward looking for Charles Zulu on that wing. But Danashano is there, does a good job. Fred Simenge cuts inside, turning 360 degrees, but Sunday does a bad job with that chest pass attempted. Wide now to Walter. Oh, Walter beats his man beautifully. The first to just bring in the cross, Jacob Ngulube now. Probably trying to attempt that, but he's got nowhere to, no space to operate, and Walter again. Cuts inside. Oh, Simon turns well. Cross. Kasonde in the right place at the right time. Walter well, almost shooting there, but beaten by his man. He lays it off for Abanene using his left. Kasonde again in there. Little flick. The player goes down. Nice Isaac chance. But advantage. Good referring here from Achiwa. And clearance in the end. Nicely done there. But Sanja, at times you forget about him in that uh, holding role, is really helping the defense from Kana. Apparently, does a good job, it goes out. Salulani Piri to take. Quickly down to Isaac Chance. But the referee has blown. I think there's been a collision there, but the card is out. Don't know to who here. 
Uh, looks like a Trump. No. A Trump Kwame. He's, uh, got, uh, he's, he's apologizing to Numba. Ironically enough, I think he was backing up into a panene, his uh, marker there. He says he didn't intend on. Ooh, very Ooh. much deliberate that. <laughs> Get up a bit of a short fuse, the man. Uh, panene complaining. Ghanaian not playing fair. Southern. Hey, 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 what the? Sutra, Tiani. Simon, Simon, Tiani, Kola Yesu. Oh, he's clearly telling them what we've been saying all afternoon. The best form of uh, defense is attack. And kind of on the lines, and I've got too much time on the ball. They need to put a little bit of pressure because there's still a lot of time in this match. 19 minutes plus at a time. Very much a lot of time and, and, the, and the difference of the goal is uh, not the best at all because the moment they get the goal, goes for them. Long one that. Rodrick away, good control again. To Isaac Chancellor. To Kwame. Under pressure from Joseph Msonda. And Joseph continues his run, trying to mark Salulani Piri. It's beaten to the ball, uh, but uh, goes up for throwing to Nkana. Apparently need to come and take this. Not so much in a hurry, you feel, Nkana. They just need to control play. I think it was, it was too much of a CISO sort of arrangement. It didn't favor any of the teams. Both sides really not dictating play in, in this half. Nkana not doing what they did in the first half, definitely. Sanako has kind of shaded the second half. Well, Water chests the ball as the ball is coming back. He does get to his hand and to say Salani did push him. Finally, just, uh, just pushes that one a bit, but Big George. Oh, clears eventually. Rodrigo away, just uh, puts it where his head where it hurts. Salolani now trying to use the byline. Brings in the cross, he manages, but soft one that. And Ngulube has come back to defend. Does a bad job because he lays it off to Kasonde. Sate Sate has come back to help out, but good clearance in the end. From Fidel Basanja. Chimenge cross. White Jacob is uh, in position. He fails to just control that one, but it's got Simon. Someone needs to chip it inside. It does. Walter! Walter Waller gets his brace. He can't stop scoring. The switch off. And it's Nkana again that have scored four goals for the second time this season. And it's up against the Lord leaders. When the ball comes back, if you look at the pass coming through from Simon Waria, most assists from him, the cover is not there. Water Waria picks his spot and he just puts it in the corner. Nothing that Justin Sabata can do can stop that ball from going into the net. Brilliant. George Lufia, second best at best. Oh, but Water Waria, for such a big player, he can go down very easily. He's your, 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 your player that is really an all-rounded player. He can head, he can use both feet. You know, he's quick. He's got the strength. So, second goal for the man. Well, he's been saying that his target is to get over 20 goals. He's scored 15 goals so far. And uh, you wouldn't bet against him scoring five to he's make it 20. Almost over 10 games remaining, so yeah. In kind of football club, four. Zanako, two. <laughs> hey, Scott and Gokane doing what? Being the clown again. <laughs> and doing a little bit of a kidiaba there. Zia Tembo 
he, how he wishes he was on that pitch, seriously. Well, he realizes what's going on. I mean, he, he, he wishes that the ground would open up and swallow him right now because had he not picked up that red card, he would have been playing. That was here, Tembo. Very disappointed there. But don't bet against it. There could still be yet another goal either way in this particular encounter. What a game. Now, a bit of a push from safe, but uh, good defense from uh, Charles from Saunders. Really been rolling back the years in this game. Could one that push it forward, but do a bad job, Fred Chemenge. Why to Gulube, but the ball bounces. Salwani Piri will clear. He has to take it first, safety first here. Tries to keep it inside, and he does, but good, bad move that again. Sate Sate was done a bit too easy there, you feel. I have been saying the best form of uh, defense is attack. When Ghana took the ball forward, they were creating opportunities. Or even Smalata just talking to Zed Sileti, telling him to calm down. High one this. Charles Zulu. To Isaac's chance up. Bundled off. Isaac just races off his consummate professional. Isaac Chancer hardly complains about the tackles. He understands it's part of the game. Is that enough experience? <laughs> going forward with the player down in Ghana and they really don't care much. They're just going for the kill here. Walter cuts inside on a hat-trick now. A good defense in the end. Zanako there with Jacob Banda settling in in that uh, back line. And the player that was down is up now. No, he's still down, actually. It's actually Fidel Bosanja. Oh, but the fans, cloud nine. Oh, there's the man. That's yeah. how bad it feels. I mean, he wishes the ground would open up and swallow him right now. Zio Tembo, he did pick up that red card. That ensured that he misses in this game. And what a game to miss out on, though, surely. This, these are the games you're, when, when, the, when the fixtures come out at the beginning of the season, you're like, okay, when are we playing in Ghana? When are we playing power? You know, and then, and then you miss out. And then you get destroyed, surely. So his knee there. Well, this is how Osanje picked up the injury. He was actually on Faxon Kapumbu. Or rather, Isaac Chansa. So looks like he will be stretched off Fidel Basanja. And you can see Rodrigo, we're just insisting that, you know, can, can he be taken off and be treated out there? <laughs> oh, Roderick doesn't want to be the captain and losing. They quickly start. Roderick away now. Does a bad job though. Long legs of uh, Donashano Malama. More like more of a use in boats in slow motion. <laughs> Gulube now, look at that brilliant start that from Jacob. <laughs> Zanakwa Sangawalete today. Cross comes, but uh, it's cleared again. Sarodani Piri and company overtime in that defense. Foul, and now the reaction from the likes of Walter Bualia. The few that it was deliberate as a chance finally is involved here. Oh, the bit of pushing between uh, Isaac and Walter. That's, that's so unnecessary. Where's the sportsman like approach? Isaac, as a professional, should come down. I mean, if you look at what happened with Abane, a little bit of contact with Isaac Chancellor. The landing is what was bad. Yeah. And you know the tempers will flare, but you know, they should come down. Donashano Malama <laughs> is the captain. Well, either way, look at the show boating coming through from Jacob Ngulube. Look at that. <laughs> Peter Banda just doesn't have answers to that. <laughs> well, they need for some grace in this game. Certainly. Well, Isaac Chance, Mr. Cool Cowman collected losing his. Uh, uh, Roderick Cowell, what a cracker that. And. Uh, well, look at that. Probably the goal of the game so far. But it didn't motivate his team that much because after scoring that one, he's saying, look, let's play the game. Well, he, that was a crack of a goal. I think I, I give it the best goal, though. Of course, Walter's uh, second goal was equally brilliant, but that 
because of the distance you want to give it to to uh, Rodrik as the best goal so far but there will be cards to be shown here well Stanley Achiwa should dish out no fewer than two cards Walter Walia and Isaac Chansa must be getting into the naughty list of Stanley Achiwa the man from Lusaka yeah Isaac Chansa that uh, looks like uh, Walter is just getting well he does get his card equally well, that so, says something. The score goes and uh, they picked up yellow cards as well. So, score a goal, pick up a yellow as a bonus. <laughs> so then, whatever he said that really had Isaac losing his cool. But this would just, this would just favor Nkana really frustrate the opponent. They are leading by two goals. The momentum is gone. Well, they are, they are even, Stephen, when it comes to uh, fouls, 15 apiece, yellow cards, it's now three for Ghana and two for Zanako. But the all important numbers are 4-2. And that means Zanako cut the point margin. Well, the point margin, Ghana cut the point margin between them and Zanako. And it's all systems go. All right, they've done a couple of goals as well. So, good one that from Joseph Musonda. Heads, goalkeeper, Tosta there, second time of asking and captain play. So Walter Walia still going for that third goal. He's on a hat trick. I wouldn't be shocked if he put one for a double brace. I mean, he's got that killer instinct. I mean, his movement on and off the ball is brilliant all the time. Roderick beats his man, but he's brought down in the process. So foul. But uh, seems to be complaining to say I, I did not uh, really get him there from giving Sinyangwe. Well, Roderick just pulls the ball back. Sinyangwe gives him a little bit of cover and. Uh, Close to a bear hug, must be reminded that Valentine's passed a couple of months back. So then, Charles Zulu to take, and you know he can hit them from there. So, so to Jackson Kapombo is standing on that one as well. So, never can tell where it's going to go. It's Kapombo with that cross. Yes. And uh, Pokane does a good job. That's what you do. You punch the ball hard out of the area. So Scott Pokane just doing what the goalkeeper should do. Salolani to save. Save keeps it in play. Brings in the cross. Then Ashana will let it bounce because there's no danger there. And he will clear that. He does. Then Ashano uses his both feet to great effect. Oh, mistake there from Kasonde and uh, Simenge will pounce on it, running to that 18. He falls right in front of him and uh, Rivera decides that uh, he covered very well, no well, foul. When, when you come to Nkana, there's something that should always happen. If it doesn't happen, it's not a complete visit when you come to Kana. The fans need to go like, Gili, Gili. Well, the man Gili Manziva is coming on and it looks like uh, he will come on for Simon Walia. The scorer of the goal in just about half time. And look at how he made his run flat footed. Three defenders. He hits a goal and no reply from Tosta Sabata. Nkana on fire. Oh, but I don't know whether he probably could have done a bit better Tosta with, with, with that punch because he, kept, he caught the hold of the ball. Fortunately, he didn't do much. But Gili Manziva, this is a very positive change from uh, Nkana, should be said, Agri, Agri Changi and company. Because uh, Gulli Manziba goes forward, he's, he, he's, a, he, he's an out and out attacker and very crafty at that. Now, Walter Walia against George Chiruchi. Big George does well to Salulani. That's a good job, Salulani. And Gulli is helping out. Kwame does a good job. Said Sakala. There's opportunity now. Turn the goalkeeper and he hits into a player and they survive against Kana. Now they're coming. Gulube just sends it wide a bit too much. But to Sate Sate, lays it off to Walter. Walter is looking at uh, Chimenge there. He's trying to be a bit too clever. Goes up for a throw in. Well, look at this instance. Nice flick on there to Fashion Sakala. Joseph Musonda is really left for dead. But great cover coming from Scott Kenny. That shot towards goal didn't help the situation for Matram. Okay, so you remove the, the goal scorer in Sate Sate, headed goal brilliantly. 
and you bring in Bono Mwape. Yet another positive substitution from uh, Agri Chiengi because he could bring in a, a, a holding midfielder. They're leading 4 2, and uh, you well, know, they're like nine, eight minutes remaining. Well, but Bono Mwape comes. They do have a depth in Ghana, but I'm looking at both these teams and I'm thinking ahead to six, seven months from now because both these teams, at the rates they're playing, will play continental football. And I'm looking at everything they're doing wrong. Oh, you might want to look at everything they're doing right. That's scoring the goals. Walter Walia tends his marker, brings in the cross. Chest control was he fouled. The referee decides no. But, but I think he was, though. And you feel there was a bit of a push. There was contact there. He didn't get the ball. But the referee decides that no penalty. That really tried to go for the penalties. And Kana, it hasn't happened. Now, Jacob Gulube he goes down. And the boy eventually goes out. Cross comes. Oh, but that. Big George Chilufia. Did, did he push him? Well, you play to the whistle. And if Stanley Achua has not blown for that as a penalty, you need to just continue playing. Southern. Good clearance by Joseph Musonda. They hit the, the hand. Fred Chimenga has had a good game. Big one on my face is a bit. He's not the your fastest player, but it does know where the goal is. Well, Saulani Piri will be exiting. And Boyd Musonda will be coming on. Equally looking for that goal, Zanako. Three minutes, but I don't have of, 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 uh, no more time here. Let's get the feeling that maybe this one is uh, done and dusted. Long throw in there from Apanene, passes in the 18. Charles Zulu has come back to help. And Ngulube again just helps out and eventually the ball goes out. Long throw this from uh, Apanene. Again, nicely done in the 18 and uh, cleared. Oh, he tried to flick it and he makes a mistake. The substitute and the fans are not too, too happy with Gulli this time around. Good tap there, Seid Sakala. Tries to just uh, slice it through. Isaac Chance as dumb as his man there. Opportunity, Akwame, but good defense in the end. Sinyang were doing a good job there, given. Throw in Zanako again. They quickly want to. They're going to fight to the last whistle, whistle Zanako, despite being down by two goals as Walter comes down. Mape, good chest, good uh, control there. Fred Simenga has had a good game. Well, searching past that, but uh, Kapumbo back to his goalkeeper. Couple of seconds of uh, regular time remaining. Say it's a color pushed in the back by uh, a banana, but uh, goes to throw into Nkana still. Long one there. Chimenga Water, what a good toss, Muppet. Pushed aside and will take the ball back to his goalkeeper. Roderick away in the center now. Little touch. Charles Apanene. Sanako finish wanting to finish strong. The cut inside. Laid off for safe, but Muzo reads the game very well. 
He's rolling back the years in that defense for Nkan. Big George take the throw in. He, he leaves it though. From Musonda back to his goalkeeper. Isaac Johnson. Under pressure from Deneshano. Now Charles. Isaac Johnson just behind him because no one is opening up and he passes the ball backwards instead. Chip inside the 18. Goalkeeper Scott. We just play around with the ball and. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Reminiscent of Kidiaba. Something nostalgic about uh, his celebration there. Oh, I forgot. He's Zambian, right? Uh, no. <laughs> So if I just uh, put it forward, say it, good chest control. Muzo for company. And Muzo's not going to be beaten that easily. He's throwing Roderick over to take. He's still pushing Roderick with just with four minutes of added on time. The just about played the one. Fred Chimenge with that uh, big George. And he beats him. George has been drawn out of position. But I'm sure there's cover there. He's going forward now, Isaac Chancer. Oh, that looked like a bad one there. I don't know if the referee saw that, but uh, it's bad on uh, Kwame. Well, Red Arrow was, medicine. Red Arrow was drawing one apiece with Mkwazi. Buffalo's training. Lusaka Dynamo's two goals to one. Napsa leading Blackpool. Blackpool still haven't picked up a victory all season long. And Muhammad Fati in Lumwana is at one apiece. Nakambala Leopards are uh, drawing in their game against uh, Lusaka Tigers. Saka Tigers just uh, put a goal back. Well, now they would rather stick than spin here as they bring in a player who's a bit more defense minded. And uh, Jacob Mgulube is brought out. And this is definitely just tactical. Well, there's very little he's going to do. He's got about uh, 120 seconds on the field of play. So it's a case of just giving everybody a chance to enjoy. And kind of have dominated possession 51 percent to 49 for zanako but more importantly it's what they've done with the attempts on goal out of their 13 goal attempts they've scored four and uh, they've had seven on target so corners kind of led on that count now there it is charles losing pace but donashano goes for the tackle he fails to get one Get him this time around again. He was going to miss the ball and get the player, but very quick from Charles Zulu. Gonna kick that to Zanako. Charles Zulu comes. Kela, goalkeeper Scott just uh, puts a fist to it. Goes out for yet another corner. So it's going to end. They're going to end up very, very strongly. Zanako. They've got four players in this provisional squad that's scored by Chicken George Rwandamina. Kind of don't have a player in the national team at all this time around. Cross comes. Goalkeeper is pushed. Will they clear their lines? They do with the Panene. Scott is out and looks like he's injured. Was he pushed or did he miss the ball? Safe. Ball goes out to Zanako. Zanako really won't stop fighting. Apombo just puts it inside. See the foul there. The referee says it is an opportunity. Roderick away will be happy to turn his luck from this distance. Well, a case of too late the hero. This will probably be the last kick of the game. Roderick will look to hit it hard. He has scored from um, such positions, but all in all. Nkana deserved the points. They came out with heart. They very clinical with their chances. Zanako. Oh, it's been a very difficult day at the office for them. Faxon Kapumbu there shows how Zanako have been playing all afternoon. They've been battered. So then some of the players that have been called to the national team from 
Zanako is Seth Sakala. The chat on the holding midfielder. Zia Tembo is not on the pitch alongside Racha Kola, who's on the bench. Nkana do not have a player in that squad, which is conspicuously, conspicuously having a Besuma missing. Well, Macha is playing. He's been called. Uh, he did play for Chips. Chips yesterday. And the glancing header was something, even though they lost. Yeah, well, good to see new blood, in a sense. Roderick shoots just wide. So Macha, not necessarily a young lad, but still good to see him in the squad. He packs a hot shot. This man, Roderick, the captain, and he's tried in the absence of Zia Tembo. It hasn't worked. Looks like he kind of hurts himself with too much power in it. It doesn't uh, look like a happy chappy. So then, you could easily say that Zanako Asanga Valete are today here. They found the game They're going very, very tough. I don't see them uh, getting anything from this one. But Nkana have been uh, clinical, have fought tooth and nail here. And most importantly, they've banged in the goals. So, just how would you sum up this one here, uh, Mukamwende? Oh, a different shade of Nkana that we've seen this afternoon. More like the team that won the league. They came out here and really were clinical. Uh, they were played to their fans, dominated play. Zanako were always second best. Nkana deserved the three points. And they look like a team that's challenging for the title. Kudus go out to them. So, points on top, cut by five, and it's okay to see this man, the brace, such a such a Simon Bodia equally coming in. They did try Roderick Kawe getting uh, the other goal, Isaac Chance again, also equally midfielders, but this is how it happened. Nice, uh, nice cross there, such a such Kampamba, trust him to start getting the goals. A little bit of dabbing there from Denashano. And uh, second goal was in the offing, who else? Walter Bodia. There we go. And then, go of the game. Crack at this. Out of this world, Roderick Kawe. We're still game on, guys. But maybe not. Tenashano crosses. Head, Simon, the shortest player. I think every time I've watched him, he's caught using his head. And yet, he's arguably the shortest player. But this is how it happened. Isaac just, oh, good dummy there. Sold his man and uh, nicely tucked in. Confidence in the 18 area. But it, we're not done yet, because Simon Well has crossed. Look at that. Good one there, getting it on the volley, and it's Walter. 14 goes now to his credit in the league. So then, there you have it at Nkana Stadium. The big one, this, and the harder they come, the harder they fall. It's Nkana 4, Zanako Football Club 2. And so, six goals in total, and Nkana Football Club winning 4 2. The last time that Nkana beat Zanako at this home ground takes us way back to 2014. Our man of the match, the current top scorer in the MTN First Super League, and that's Walter Bale. Walter, congratulations. What a great performance. 15 goals now you've scored in the Super League. I thank God for that uh, because it's not easy to score 15, 15 goals. I thank God for that, and I was too weak hard to get a top scorer. This you year. seem to be scoring the goals with ease, regardless of the team. Just what's your secret? No, my secret is just work hard and be faithful. And I think with our supporters, our committee, everything we are down, we are down, God will help us, and I think this year we do a great thing. Finally, Power Dynamo's up next. Ah, uh, I think uh, I'll work again hard on that, and I think we won again. Congratulations and all the best, Walter. Make sure you go and get yourself 500 quarter worth of airtime, courtesy of, uh, you know, MTA and the league sponsors of the Zambian Super League. So, I'll tell you what, it's been an exciting ride here at the Nkana Stadium, as Nkana Football Club has beaten Zanako 4-2. Join us next time. Goodbye for now.